So, uh, neurological examination of a cervical spine. So, two components are very important if an uh, examiner suspects any neurological involvement in the cervical spine. So, these two components are reflex testing and cutaneous sensation. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about a reflex testing. So, reflex testing or deep tendon reflexes. So, reflex arc is a monosynaptic and it is involuntary pathway where a sensory nerve and a motor nerve is affected with are connected with one synapse so the sensory nerve is efferent in nature it goes from dorsal root ganglion and a motor nerve is efferent and it stimulates by alpha motor neuron now when you check the reflex testing for the upper extremity so mainly the biceps Brachioradialis reflex and a triceps reflex. Now, biceps reflex root value C5, C6, brachioradialis C5, C6, and triceps is C7, C8, where the nerve, nerves for biceps is musculocutaneous and triceps is radial. Now, in the another reflex testing is a jaw jerk. So, jaw jerk is a cranial nerve 5 or trigeminal. According to Bland, jaw jerk is an important diagnostic tool because if the jaw jerk is normal and the reflexes for the biceps and the brachioradialis or triceps is exaggerated more than normal that means the lesion is below foramen magnum but at the same time if the jaw jerk is exaggerated or abnormal that means the lesion should be above the pons level and if the, UA, if the upper motor neuron lesion is suspected, the examiner should check the Hoffman sign. Now, what are the gradings for DTR or deep tendon reflexes or a, a reflex testing is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 0 is absent, 1 is diminished, 2 is normal, 3 is exaggerated and 4 is clonus. Thank you.